Hello ladies and welcome back to my channel, Lady Lovely Locks. I'm Corinne and I'm going over this beautiful piece. This is Raquel Welch's High Society in the color Shaded, oh my lord, it's Shaded Spice Pumpkin Ice, Shaded Pumpkin Spice. I think it's Shaded Pumpkin Spice. I'm sorry. I just thought I knew the name and now, now that I'm saying it out loud, I'm like, hmm, is it Shaded Ice Pumpkin Spice or Shaded, I think it's Shaded Pumpkin Spice because they have Shaded Spice and it's just Shaded Pumpkin Ice. So <laughs> I've had this wig, mm, let's see, it's August of 2022 and I got this in, I want to say November of last year for Black Friday through the Beauty Nook. They have the best Black Friday discounts. So if you haven't checked them out, check them out. They're, they don't have a website, at least not to my knowledge. I think you could look it up, but they have an app and it's the Beauty Nook, or you can go to my Instagram and look them up on their Beauty Nook look. And they just, they have phenomenal sales. I love getting a whole bunch of wigs to them and they have the sezzle pay, so you can pay every two weeks. So you get a discount and then you pay every two weeks and then it doesn't feel like, you know, a bunch of money coming out of your paycheck all at once. So something to keep in mind. Um, and I am using a ring light. I was opposed to them before, but I, for some reason, I am not finding where I live now, where I've lived for over a year now, it's harder to get that outdoor natural lighting when I'm ready for it or it just doesn't seem to work the way I want. So I'm using a ring light. Um, I, I don't feel like it, I feel like natural lighting is better, but it's just, it was like cloudy today. And I just, from where I do my lighting, it's just harder unless I'm able to do it in my living room, which when my kids are around, um, it's harder to do out there. So. I hope this, you know, is accurate. I'm looking at it. I've been wearing this color. I like to wear my wigs more these days before I just go out and do a review. I know it's fun to get a new style and then be one of the first people on YouTube to review it and everything and make it look perfect and everything. But I don't like to do that. You you can go to other channels and find reviews on wigs that are brand new, fresh out of the box. Go to their channels if that's what you want. But I like to do my reviews based on reality, after I've worn them, my opinion, how I, just everything I think about them. Cause I think most of us would appreciate that. Um, we wanna be able to see what a wig looks like after it's been worn. And a lot of my reviews I do after I've had the wig for over a year. Obviously I don't wear them every day, but I've worn them enough to where I can give a good opinion to people out there that want a real opinion. I could be like some of those big YouTube people who have tons of subscribers and only film the popular blondes and even the fake wigs say, oh, this looks so realistic, but I'm not like that. I'm not like that at all. So yeah, I've worn this piece, um, oh, enough times to give opinion on it. At first, when I first got this piece, I'm going to admit I wasn't sure if I could pull off this color because it's part of the, um, cool collection that Raquel had um, with, it had like the iced mocha latte, the iced, shaded iced cappuccino, all those ones. So me being, having warm undertones is something you wanna keep in mind too. A lot of cool colors don't look right on me. They just, they don't bring out my skin tone. They don't, they look, they just age me. So I was kind of hesitant on this one, but I liked that it had the rooting, it's just, for people who aren't natural redheads, getting a red that has a rooting, it just makes it look more realistic on us. Any, honestly, any color you get, rooting is just the most realistic. Unless you are a natural blonde, then you don't want the rooting. Or if you're a natural redhead, you don't want the rooting. But most of us aren't like that. And so if you have, you know, because if I'm wearing an all red and I have brown eyebrows, it just doesn't look as realistic. Even some of those pieces like John Renault's Pralines and Cream, they're just, or like, what did I wear earlier today or, or earlier yesterday, whenever I was wearing it, I had on um, a hazelnut, 
um, by Raquel Welch. It wasn't their shaded hazelnut. It was it was glazed hazelnut. And you know, sometimes we think it looks good, but then when you see that stripiness, you gotta work hard to break that up so it looks natural. So if you can just get a piece that's rooted, it solves that problem. Um, it just it just makes it look so much more realistic. But let's get into this piece. So if you haven't seen this on any other site, let's look at the wig cap. This is a wig grip. I think it's called wig grip. And it's silicone. I like it on a lot of my wigs because then you can't see the wig cap. It just really depends. There's no rhyme or reason to it. Just some wigs, you can see the wig cap more. And so this one is clear and it looks better. Now on a hot, sweaty, humid day, these are the worst in my opinion. But I would rather be sweating underneath and have fabulous hair than have you seen my wig cap. That's just my personal. Maybe if I got like a brown one, it would look better. Um, so I'll look into that. Anyways, so this is Raquel Welch's. It's got this memory cap with the silicone that were, that's really important when you have no hair. When you have hair, it actually can like, to me, like you can pull your hair and it doesn't really matter. Um, any cap's gonna fit to your head. And unless you have this fitting your head perfectly, the heat isn't really gonna matter, just in my opinion. So, but if you don't have any hair, this fits like a glove, it's got this um, silicone wig cap. And there's a full mono top, and then it has the ear tabs just like all the other ones. It doesn't have, or it does have extended lace. Or I mean, I'm sorry, an extended nape with the stays. So the stays and the ear tabs and the nape just help so that you can, um, oh, sorry you can make the cap fit your head better and make it more flush with your head. So this is also, um, this is one of her heat defiant wigs. Most of Raquel Welch's wigs are heat defiant. I don't like that. I don't wear them very often because of that, because they, they just, unless you wear them up all the time, long synthetic wigs are going to degrade. So just keep that in mind. You cannot, you cannot, I don't care anybody tells you on, on YouTube or anywhere, you cannot wear long heat defiant wigs every day down. They will degrade so fast. So just keep that in mind. These are good for just once in a while, comb it out, you know, um, sometimes it's good to put like steam on it just to keep the ends fresh. But if you want to wear this every day, you will have to keep cutting it because the, it'll get coarse and thick. And um, if you're really good at refurbishing fibers, then you can get these if you know how to get the curl back and the style. But I've even had my wigs refurbished and it's impossible to get the same style back. So just remember that these, you know, if, if you are limited in your budget and you don't have a lot to spend, don't get a heat defiant wig. And if you get one that's heat defiant, make sure it's shorter above your shoulders. Um, so with that, yeah, it is hard because there's colors I like that are heat defiant. So I just got to suck it up, but I don't wear them all the time. Um, this uh, high society, oh, the, I would just describe the wave pattern as one that you've curled. And um, it just, it's not a beach wave at all. It's just a natural, I curled my hair for a date night or church or work, you know, it's, it it's, um, could be casual or it could be a little fancy if you wanted, in my opinion. Depends on what you deem fancy. Uh, but yeah, I just threw this on, went, got my nails done, went to shopping with the kids and that was it. So it did the job. You know, I wouldn't wear something overly curly like, uh, Downtime by Raquel Welch just for running errands. But this I feel like is a hair you can throw on for running errands. It's got some curl as if as if I went on a date last night, this is what it looks like today. So yeah, I think it could pull off as natural with this this style. Um it does have a few layers cut in. I don't have measurements. Um, but I wouldn't call this a long piece. This is like just a little below my clavicles. I'm five seven. Um, I wanna say this is seven and four or seven and four. So do with that what you will as far as measurements. Look at look it up on other people, but yeah, that's how it works on me. So I wouldn't call this long, I'd call this like a medium length. Um, but the lace front, so when I first had this wig, it was more parted towards the middle. You couldn't see the parting space. So with these mono tops, and they're getting better over time, 
that you can see the line right there mainly because of the ring light so in certain lighting oh, well now i can see it all the time so that's gonna drive me nuts but people who don't know you're wearing a wig they don't know to look for that line so unless they're like way up in your grill they're not gonna see it but um and if i i mean maybe you can put some sharpie on that sometimes there's wigs that make it obvious sometimes there's wigs that don't it, it it's not even a particular wig in mine it's just any wig with depending on who made it that line can be noticeable it could not be um but that's why i like to wear the silicone wig grip that's clear so it's more blended in but i do like that you can see the scalp when you can't see the scalp it doesn't look natural so, I mean, I see these reviews all the time of people saying, oh, it looks so natural. Yeah, the lace front, the lace front looks fantastic. This one looks good. It doesn't look as stark as like Shaded Biscuit where it's got that bleach blonde stripe and then, you know, the platinum blonde and then all the brown in the back. This is blended way better in my opinion. That Shaded Biscuit is a dead giveaway every time someone has it. <sighs> So yeah, Shader Biscuit, you can always see it from a mile away because it's got that stripe and then brown. It's very stark, it's very obvious, and unless you take the time to pluck and blend that hair better, it looks like a wig. I don't care what anyone on YouTube says, it looks like a wig, it looks like a wig. So with this, it's not so stark and blonde and dark. You know, this and my little widow's peak kind of blends in with that. I haven't cut the lace at all. So this one, I, the lace front feels really good. With this piece in particular though, um, only because I have hair the blend in right there, that doesn't look bad. But like on this side, the lace, it just doesn't fit my head properly. I've, tight, I've tightened the cap and everything, it just over there. So, and you can see it lifts and you can see right there where the wig, um, where the lace ends. I don't like that that's you know for as much money as we spend on these things I'd, I'd rather it not do that so it just means um i won't be pulling this off my face at all doesn't mean it's a crap wig it just those are things you have to look for sometimes and it is disappointing i have i'm able to get tons of wigs i have tons of them i don't i haven't bought any in a long time and i'm good i'm good on wigs you know forever just about but not everyone has that same opportunity and so it stinks when you get a wig and then you you can't, you're thinking you've been able to do all that because you saw someone on YouTube do it and then yours has that obvious piece. Now what I've done before with a, a wig is I've colored that in. You just gotta make sure you find like a warm brunette color, Sharpie, to color that in. And then it could be less visible. And then maybe if you're dead set on pulling your hair back, you're gonna need to use it stays or something to help hold that down and then it would be doable if you wanted to pull that back but sometimes it does happen it's unfortunate you just got to know the right tricks to fix it i will also add as far as the size goes this wig is baggy i feel like it would fit a large person and because it's got that silicone on it just like on point with one of those wigs that had that silicone on it it is like impossible to take it in properly without it feeling bulky and it's just you just can't so that's one of the unfortunate things i have one wig i'm wearing as my work wig now that is bulky and it has that extra bulk and i feel like you it pokes out sometimes um you'll hear about when i do a review on that one but it is unfortunate that this type of wig with the silicone cap they're just they fit bigger if you have a small head and it's impossible to take it in properly without it feeling so bulky. So just keep that in mind. Is that a deal breaker for me? No, not on this piece because it's there's enough volume where I don't feel like the wig's poking through, but on my the one that I use for my work wig that I, I feel like it does poke through. I should, when I feel it, I should take a picture, some video and see if that's how it is. But that's just something you have to remember when, unfortunately with these pieces specifically, when it has that silicone cap, wefted cap for, you know, fitting better, is that if they're big on your head, it's really hard to take them in properly. I'm not saying this just on my opinion, I've taken it in 
to wig experts who all they do is fix wigs they have wig stores and they're the ones that have told me that and they're not gonna lie to me just to get my money but they've told me i said well, let's just try it and it's still you know it's taken in but it feels bulky in some areas because of that material but the lace front on this is absolutely beautiful let me just pull it up for a little bit yeah that's my hair oh now i'm gonna have to do but it looks really good it's i don't think i mean now i'm looking at i can see the brown but it's just it's so less obvious on this color that line than on shaded biscuit shaded biscuit is like a dead giveaway i hate it i'll probably never get that color again because it just looks so obvious um but let's talk about this color now this is this is a very beautiful um auburn it's uh i wouldn't say i wouldn't call it a strawberry blonde at all it's got you know you can see the um baby lights that's what i would call it i'm no no expert in hair terminology but i would call those baby lights throughout they're not chunky the little wispy pieces but i th wouldn't make that that wouldn't make it a strawberry blonde it would this is a a uh, more bright red than like fs27 by john renault um or even uh it's a little more cool I, I guess you could say it's cooler than like sumptuous strawberry by beltress but it is a beautiful red i at first i wasn't sure about this color because like i said i've warmed undertones but i feel like this color with the right makeup looks good on me would i be able to wear this without makeup mm, probably not but the makeup helps enhance it and then i mean i guess you could if you wanted but i always like to just you know do what complements my skin tone but i feel like this color definitely does i didn't know you could have a cool red and i don't even want to say it's cooler it's just brighter than some of those other reds that i mentioned but you know i feel like on this side you could pull it only because i have that hair right there to help blend the lace it could pull off the face but that is just so obvious you would have to really like twist it and then that could go back if you want to do something like that more of a romantic look but um yeah i do the bagginess bothers me but you know, I'm just going to do with it. I like once I changed the parting around to so you could see the scalp that just makes wigs look way more realistic. And then people aren't like looking up in your business as much, you know. Um, but I do hate that you can see that. So maybe if I try putting some brown, brown Sharpie on there, that'll help blend that in. I don't like honestly, I don't think anyone's going to be noticing. I'm noticing because I wear wigs. And we like to look at everyone and say, oh, they went away with it, went away with it. So that's the only reason. But normal people, I don't think are going to see that. Um, because I, I know it's not the wig cap because I'm moving it. And you can still see it. So yeah, but sometimes if you just, like this is hanging because before this all wanted to be in the middle. And you know, like see, like you can't see the parting space and that looks obvious. So with this being a full mono top, you can change it. See, and then you can see the scalp appearance, but you can still see that line, which is driving me nuts. So I'm gonna have to play around with it. But um, I think you guys got the gist of this wig, the layers, the style, the color. It is a beautiful red. I do, I do like it. Um, and I, I wouldn't mind getting a piece in this color again. But let me do a little spin. <sighs> Sorry, that was disgusting. <sighs> She's, it's very much a very sexy color. Very sexy. This is not a, I'm timid, don't pay attention to me kind of color. This is like, I look good. I better make sure my makeup looks good too. But, um, yeah, I think the way that blends in with my my uh little tiny widow's peak i think that helps a lot so anyways this is her high society in shaded pumpkin shaded sh iced 
Is it Shaded Ice Pumpkin? Now I've even forgotten it. I'll have the right name on the title. But this is her. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. If you have any suggestions, let me know. I use a background like this to hide my messy closet in my bathroom. It is what it is. Let me know what you think of the lighting. Uh, just I just want these to be informational for people. So thanks for watching and have a good day.